So, yeah. That just happened. <laughs> the man has been dragged off. And for like an hour, nothing really happens. There's no more customers. I could make you run... I could me decide to run another interlude. That would be very strange. So, I'm, so that's why I'm going to do it, yeah. So now the only people who haven't done an interlude would be Solaire and Orlin. So one of you... So who wants to be number one on this D2? Uh, I'll be one. Oh, okay. Is Austin Cody here? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get there here. Yeah, I'm just sweeping the shop now because there's blood and shit. I'm and never going to have to do one of these. No, that just means you're next with absolutely zero chance of it not being you. Oh, I just won't play that. <laughs> yeah, I'll never have to do one. Okay, so what happens with these interludes again? So uh, I draw a card and depending on its contents, you tell a story. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Uh, and it has to be a good story or you get kicked out of the game. <laughs> yes. The character gets a meteorite dropped on his head. Dance for me, monkey, dance. Tell me a bedtime story. Where the flying fuck are interludes? Okay. Alright, alright. That clubs? Yeah. Yep. No. Yes. Alright. Oh, spades. Oh, spades, spades. spades. Alright. Tell us a tale of victory. How fucking fitting. Oh, yes. Excellent. Okay. Tell them about the time I shot an arrow in a thief's leg. <laughs> no, it has to be a tale of Solaire's victory, not one, not his defeat. Okay. Listen up. Many years ago, when I was, before my travels had begun, I was training. The nights were dark and long. The sun was fading behind the clouds. But our family was... Basically, we are, we are simple farmers, simple pe peasantry of the land. And, of course, wolves would constantly descend upon us. They would take our cattle, kill it, and steal it. So we would have nothing left to sell and nothing to live on. So I decided to go, go my own route. Rather than cowering in fear of these wolves, even in the darkness, I would kill the fuck out of them. So... Oh. I went on a hunt. I went on the hunt for these mighty beasts. Although, in retrospect, they turned out to be rather small dogs. But it was a threat that still counted in my mind. And I, I shall confess something to you all. I am afraid of the dark. <gasps> I do not like war. <gasps> dun dun dun! I don't like walking. Walking well, I don't know. Where my foot, I get my where my feet are going to go. I don't like missing the bask of the sun. But I lit a torch and I set about on my way. It was very comforting having the flames there, but the uh, the fields were all boggy, marshy. I could feel every single step of my feet just getting absorbed by this thick, colossal mud. I took a sword, took my father's sword with me. It was rather, it was a bit smaller compared to what I hold today, but it was still quite heavy for me back then. I was just a child, but on I went by myself, and eventually I followed the trail of blood and carcass that the beasts had left behind, and I found a nest, and so I descended upon them, and I was pretty lucky because they were actually sleeping at the time. It was pretty easy overall. I came back and I celebrated my victory. And nobody else was very impressed by it, but whatever. The deed was done, and the crops was and the uh, wildlife was saved. The end. Oh, touching story. Yes, <laughs> I killed yes. a bunch of dogs while they were sleeping. There's uh, an interesting story there, Solaire. That's upsetting, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I'll give you a penny for that. But Andrea pokes her head around the corner and goes. You know, you're pretty down on your own victories. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I, I... I take it upon myself to maintain humility about this and be objective, but I still celebrate my triumphs, however small they may be. So, just... Um, Zach, you're mopping at this point, or, like, mm -hmm. trying to clear Bastard. up the blood. 
Yeah, someone yeah. walks into the store and immediately comes up to you and begins this long tirade in what is basically techno babble about potions. At the end, it sounds like he's asked you a question. I immediately start sweating and say, uh, I believe the person you're looking for is over there. And I point him towards uh, the man behind the desk. Who's the man behind the desk? Who's currently behind the desk? As someone else to step up to the plate, basically. Uh, isn't Altair behind the counter? Yes, hello. Ah, he repeats, but it somehow seems even longer than the first time. Uh, yes, uh, sure. You understood the word reagent, glass, yes. marmoset. Yes. Marmoset, yes, uh, it's, uh, over... Uh, where is it? Uh, sorry, new here, first day. It's, oh. it's over there. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, it's over here. Here you go. Okay, well, one of you roll a smarts check. I'll, I'll do it. You just put it on the counter. Actually, if it's about identifying uh, that stuff, I could do a um, Arcana roll, Knowledge Arcana. Okay, yeah, I'll allow that. Yeah, ten. Ooh. It yes. takes you a while, but what everything that man just said slowly decodes in your mind. You realize he was just asking for very, very simple spell components. And then you realize it was just, he just, in a very long-winded way, asked for that and a healing potion. But he used the word the Kirklings of Thrall to describe it, which is a very, very outdated term. I use the same term myself sometimes. Ah, uh, just falling into old habits. Yes. He, he pays up 50 gold for a healing potion, grabs a few regents, and is on his way. Then you hear a then you hear a smash from the uh, back room. Andrew's going, "Oh dear, oh dear, this this isn't good." Oh dear! I, oh. I pick up my mop and run back there. On the f uh, as you like run in, you see several bits of spirit glass have been broken and several potions of animates. Oh no! I immediately start sweating. No. Well, d oh no! Well, don't don't worry. Of if we're selling them, of course they're empty. And just as you say it, you start hearing very loud banging from upstairs. Ah, it's not real. Be a ghost. That is clearly your cat knocking something over. But her cat is here. No, it's not. It's upstairs. Meow. Yeah, the cat is right there. I immediately <laughs> pull a flask out and just start drinking. <laughs> it's one gang. It looks like we have a mystery. Crash! Uh, crash! Crash! Mystery here. I grab, uh, I grab one of the ghost files. That's oh, it's, it's broken. It's like it's only that, the neck of it is like left somewhat intact. I, I mean, I, I mean, I grab one of them. I grab one of the ones off the off the counter. I mean, or the display rack or whatever. This was like she dropped a crate that had that and animate potions in it. There was only a few in anime? there. Oh, animate. No, anime. <laughs> Were those all? They weren't the potions of anime. anime. Oh, no. Were those all of them, or were there still some in the like for sale? There was, yeah, there were a few for sale, but this was in this is in the back room. This is in the storage. Yeah, I'm I'm saying I grab an empty one oh, off of okay. the shelf. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, that's fine. And and then I start heading upstairs. No, wait, maybe maybe the chair just got animated. I start following you upstairs. Yeah. Oh, that, now, now, Zekart, it's all right. Just follow me. Hey, hey Kodo, follow, goes. follow them. The chair is just animated. Kodo follows them. Yeah, Kodo just uh, climbs up or Orlin's shoulder. So, you go upstairs, and the crashing is coming from, like, a room, like, there's four doors, and it's coming from the one on the back on the right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's no big deal, right? I uh, head that gotta, way. Just gotta crush the chair. Um... As you approach the door, who approaches the door first? I'd say Orlin. I do. Make an agility check. Oh, yeah. you're good. Yeah, you're fucking fine. You dart back, like, you get, and then you notice the door is, like, creaking, and the door, like, swings open of its own accord, and, like, a gaping right. mouth biting at you, just, like, slams open, slams shut, I mean, slams open, shut, open, shut, open, shut, trying to, like, hit you. But what it's a door, it so it can't move chest? terribly far. Are we talking, like, Mimic? We're talking like Mimic. 
Oh yeah, I, immediately take out my mace and go to smash it. I open the ghost file and hold it out. Um, you know about spirits vials that the ghosts have to be in some way incapacitated or like weakened before they're susceptible. Oh, then I I let Zagcart pass by me as I'm opening opening up the vial to let yeah, him I, do his thing. I just go to smash it with my flail. Roll. That hits. <laughs> it's the parry of the door. Two. They can't move very much. So that's with a raise. Um, now here's the thing about okay. smacking, like, to sunder objects, which this technically is. Your fighting dice don't explode. Okay, so it's just an eight. Well, no, 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 you're hitting it with a mace. So it's your strength plus um, the weapon's damage, and because you've hit with a raise plus a d6. Oh, so weapon damage. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah really With cool. melee, it's... Okay. So it's uh, bat minus three, because it exploded with a plus three. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah. 16. The door is fucking smashed, and you can... You kind of notice it's a kind of subtle thing, but you notice the glass of the spirit vial gets cloudier. It starts looking like it's animated. Okay, when it gets filled with anime, I, I cork it. Yeah, just contain the anime, don't let it out. Yep. Ugh, anime. Absolutely. Ugh. I brace myself and look for other potential mimics. Here, give out. I hold up the vial and I sort of uh, wink at Zagkart. Kodo is not sweat liking down my face. Kodo is not liking this shit. Um, in the room itself, you look in. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna reveal it to you this way, because this is what this is what you see kind of just moving about. Oh, oh my God! Are we gonna fight? Away. I'm gonna fight a bunch of furniture now. <laughs> yeah, the furniture sees you and just is looking in the direction of the door. Do we need to draw initiative for versing the furniture. Yeah, that we do actually. Um, what's so what is um Alter and Soler doing in this? Well, I'm manning the store. Kodo yeah, is with them, but uh, actually, <laughs> Kodo is like, fuck this shit and runs down the stairs. <laughs> I, I, I say, I say to watch the store. Yeah, same. <laughs> so you two just have fun with it. Uh, just... I yell, I yell that we might need your help. Okay. Uh... So, so there, can you man uh, the... Should I yeah... man the counter? Yeah, yeah, if that's alright, I'll go up and see what this is about. Fine. Just, oh, there I'll you are, Kodo. Take this with me. Kodo, grab them up and stop mopping. Squeak. I don't know what sound... I don't know what sound ferrets make, so I'm just gonna go with... Ferret noise. Ferret noise. Enclosed so captions. Ferret noises. <laughs> okay, so I go upstairs. Uh, and I see... What's going on. Huh. I'm not sure what possessed this whole idea for the fight, but I don't think it came from a bad place. <laughs> well, we fight thieves and now we fight furniture. Yeah, I mean... I want to cast uh, Orland's spell of anti-furniture. Oh, I mean, that makes you the most evil kind of wizard, he who dislikes furniture. Uh, that's true. It's, it's actually called... Uh, it's actually called Orland's anti-Ikea. Ah, I see. You're against that kind of thing. Wow. Shit. Oh, God. We rolled four. That's... yeah. Okay. So, first thing. The chest, just kind of with newly formed wooden legs, heads forward. And in its turn... Let's see. What, I statted this furniture. I sat down and spent an hour statting furniture on combat ability. <laughs> Oh and my god. Also, that's not a chest, that's a footlocker. What's the pace of a footlocker? Not very good. About a foot. <laughs> you know, you're not far off. <laughs> Joking aside. Yeah, it it dot can't make it to you on its turn. I'm assuming you're all by the doorway. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna get, make it roll a running dice. <laughs> Two. Yeah, no, it's it's... It's doing it what it can. It's the footlocker that uh, tried. Is it anywhere close to me? Yeah, I'll say it made it like a few feet from the door. 
Okay, so nice? I am going to um, like in, like this doesn't technically count as my turn because if it moves towards me and it's within attacking range, I can get first strike on it. It's not uh, quite there yet. So... Oh, otherwise, right, it okay. otherwise, it would otherwise it would have struck I'm... at you. Uh, I'll... All right, okay. Uh... Right then, I'll just do a standard fighting. Oh I'm yeah, I took to your snap. I took your wound penalties off since they were stunned like oh, right. okay. end a fair few hours back, so you don't have like wound penalties. Oh god. But that doesn't go well. You like uh, swing prematurely and end up just like smacking the floor when you're trying to strike down on the um on the foot locker. Ups it. Uh Alter, you just hear like a crash like a metallic crash from upstairs. Oh Jesus, can you be quiet? You're scaring away the customers. He says, and then he looks out over an empty store. Not that you need to use it now, but just a reminder that you did get a penny back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I saw that. But I don't need it just yet. Boom. A chair. Well, chairs have a pretty decent pace, actually. <laughs> yeah, about four, light, or four feet, right? Yeah. They're, bi they're not bipedal. That's humans. Quadrupeds. Quadrupeds. The the chair like darts forward and tries to jump kick, uh, all in. I don't know why I'm typing because I started these in the sheet. Choke slab. Oh god. Yeah, that beats my uh, defense. What is your defense? Built my furniture. Uh, my parry is. Do I get a plus two? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've got the stuff. Plus, I get plus one. So I have six, six parry. Six parry, that still beats it with a raise by one. Yep. So this is, let's see what a chair kick is like. That. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to get killed by furniture. <laughs> wow. What is your uh, toughness? Uh, five. Okay. Uh, do you have any armor as such? I'm I guessing don't, those clothes. I don't. No, I don't. Okay, so fine. Okay, so shaken and one wound. You are like knocked back by this chair diving at you. Jesus Christ, people! You can hear Orlin screaming upstairs. Andrew just like we're gonna up. need more vials. Fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, Alter goes up to the like the door, like locks it, and then puts like you know a sign like. <laughs> close, <Come on. laughs> and he grabs a few, like, three vials and goes up. <laughs> Fine, people! So, yeah, um, put your like, I do a thing, but, like, with the things on the side, just mark yourself as shaken and one wound. Snake, we better not die to fucking furniture. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Fate is in <laughs> your hands. <laughs> If that happens, that would be amazing. I'm just gonna say, I'm loving some of the sentences taken out of context in this game. One... <laughs> what is a what's a good icon for shaken? Um, I use actually I'll do it this time. Just show you which one I use, but it doesn't have to be that. I use that for shaken. Okay, yeah, I was like that one too. Okay, that's fine. Um, right next up is a desk. I'm way too amused by this whole situation. I've just been spending a whole session waiting for it. I put a red dot for one wound. Yeah, that works. Um, the desk, and the desk waddles forward and like basically blockades the door and is going to go full defense. <laughs> They're using strategy. <laughs> well, yeah, they are ghost furniture. The smartest kind. The desk is actually the ghost of a dead general. Okay, four. That doesn't aid its parry right. whatsoever. Ho oh ho! Uh, they, 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 they literally play Dark Souls and they figured out what happened to those mimics, so they can't What is prepared. the parry of a death? Wouldn't you like to find out? <laughs> well, you know it's better than two if that didn't help, or better than four anyway. Next up is another chair. This chair, like, sprints forward, jumps over the desk outside the room, and this one goes for Zakat. Four. I'm guessing that doesn't hit your parry. 
My parry is six. Yeah, you're fine. It, like, jumps and misses you completely, like, bounces off of the wall, and you're now in the hallway with it. Staring down this haunted chair. Sorry, animated chair. There's no ghosts here. Another chair follows, <laughs> trying to repeat the previous chair's actions. And it doesn't work. Oh. And finally, the last chair just stands... No, it jumps atop the desk and also goes full defense. And that didn't roll. Did it? No, it didn't. It did. It rolled the two. It rolled it a... just went down sequentially. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, sorry. Two. So that didn't help it whatsoever. Its parry is the same as it ever was. Zakat. Yeah, they just have to smash the shit out of this chair that tried to get me. Well, two of them got me, so I'll get the first one. Uh, roll dice. Seven. Okay. That... Yeah, that hits a chair. <laughs> Is that a raise or not a raise? That's not a raise. Beat the chair. Good God. That's a dead chair. A flail, I feel like cares. a flail would be a pretty good object, like, weapon yeah. to do this way. Blunt force trauma to a wooden object. So, the chair that dived for you and missed, like, do you just hit it on the seat, or...? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I just crush it straight down the middle. Yeah, it just breaks in half. And then I shout, you're gonna need new furniture! Andrea just... Does... Does anything happen since we don't have a, a vial open? Um, it just, the chair just stops. You don't seemingly notice anything. Okay. Do you have any, actually, I'll let you, like, is there anything like detect magic? Yeah, there is a detect magic spell. We, uh, it's not available. Is this available? No, I don't have that. I just yeah. have knowledge arcana. But one chair is out of the game, actually. Was that the rule? Okay, it's that the chair that just tried to attack you is that one. Okay, that one's out. Done. And lastly is the, a large oak table. This one hasn't grown legs. You just notice it's shuff, like shuffling across the floor, making a loud wooden creak. Does it vibrate across the floor? Yeah, pretty much. This is making this most god awful noise, but the desk is blockading the door, so it can't do anything. It just kind of like, you notice it gets there and then it like hops and then tumbles on its side, just creating a full stop on the door, or where the door was rather. All in. All right. Well, I want to get out of shaking. Yeah, uh, that's a spirit check, and if that fails, then uh, Benny can be spent uh, to just get out of it freely. You get a plus one because I'm near you. I'm good. Oh, yeah. So, 14. Alright. Um, I want to move behind the two of them. Like, I guess we're in the hallway. Yeah. And I, I want them to be in front of me so that I'm less likely to get chaired. So I want to do that, and then I want to shoot a, um... Like, I'm just moving my walk distance. So it's like, free action. Yeah. And then I want to... I would like to frostbolt the chair. You may frostbolt the chair. Alright. I'm gonna do... A... I'm gonna put three... Actually, I'm not really sure how much health the chair has, or how... Okay, roll, roll, roll smarts. I'm not sure if I should empower my spell or not. Five. With that, you look at the chair, and it's a pretty shoddy make. You've sat in better in your lifetime. That right, probably that probably here. break. That probably you know it's probably toughness five. Yeah. All right, I'll try doing just a normal frostbolt then. And I do it for free. Nice. And <coughs> oh. that's not a raise, right? Um, that's n oh, that is yeah, yeah, because it's on shooting, because it's on um shooting ah. rules. So that's a raise damage. And <laughs> <laughs> I 
Fucking free 14 uh, damage. Okay, hang on, let me look at this. Oh. Yeah, yeah. A 1, a 6, so 7 damage. Plus 4. Plus 4? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's fucking done. That is a chair out of the game. It, yeah, I just, uh... You know, I, I sneeze, like, I pull out uh, some kind of reagent and I sneeze on it, and then a, a bolt of frost shoots out of my staff and just explodes it. <laughs> it explodes the chair, where it just splinters into a million pieces. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. Like, bits of, uh, ch ghost chair shrapnel go all over the place. Not ghost animated. There's no ghosts here. No such thing. Right. Fuss begins the second round of combat. Hey! <laughs> By card or suit. There we go. All in. And then I immediately do it again to another chair. <laughs> yeah, that's another Jeez. race. Oh. And I explode that chair too. The chairs the are just fuck? falling I left, just, like, right, and center. I like sneeze twice and then just boom, boom. One of these chairs isn't on the turn order. That's very, very wrong. It's because oh. it's dead. Oh yeah. Oh, okay then. That technically none of them were on the turn order. I'll just put him at the back because I fucked up. So do you want to kill the chair that moves first, or the chair that moves last? The one that goes before Solaire and uh, Zachard. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I got it. That one's out of the picture. Nope, I jump over it. Okay. It, like, sees you dodge, and then, like, slide, like, using its own momentum going backwards, like, slides, lands on its feet, and shuffles back into the, uh, into the study. Like, off of the desk, no longer protecting top side of the door. Oh yeah, did you forget to put Swede on the turn order? Swede no. didn't- Swede didn't join the fight, he's downstairs manning the counter. Well, I'm no, going up- I'm going upstairs He said now. he was running up the stairs. Oh, sorry. I'll put- I'll put you on for next round, then. Yeah. No, that's why, like, you can just see all turn. God damn, how tall are th how long are these stairs? It's a five-story shop. At least the what? stairs didn't get animated what? as well. What? Oh, Jump why didn't I think of that? Stories. <laughs> so I would have done that. My ideas. I would have made the whole house haunted. <laughs> or have the have animated, the ghost inhabit the 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 uh, potion vials. Hey, kitty. Now, the Footlocker. The Footlocker oh, is annoyed. But it, like, it shuffles under the desk. Out of the room, and tries to bite at Orlin's feet. Wait, I'm behind the other two, though. Oh yeah, that's true. Yep. It goes for Solaire. Okay. Um, first strike. Uh, oh it yeah, it closed you. the gap with you. Yeah. <sighs> Three. I'll just roll my wild. Oh, you know what? I just re remembered wild. I had a wound. Did I still have a raise even with that wound? With that wound, with, what was the result? Fifteen. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait. The other one I rolled an eight. Oh, that was a seven then. So I would have got a ten on damage. Would a ten still have killed it? Yeah, by one point actually. Okay, so we're good. We're yeah. still good then. Yeah. So I missed with my uh, yeah. first strike, so it can go ahead. Yeah, it just like. You try and strike at it, for some reason you're backing away, so that's why your swing is awkward. And then it goes to bite at your feet, and... Yeah. It's this... The desk... The desk tries to aid... Tries to aid the footlocker. Moving within me. Yeah, while well, it's like, while you're looking down, it moves in for a strike. It violently... Okay. Tries to shunt. No, 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 no. Uh, it shoots one of its drawers at you from a distance. That's what I was gonna say. So I was gonna say, <laughs> should do that. <laughs> oh no! Four hits. Throwing. Damn it. 
<laughs> I, yeah, I wouldn't expect that, really. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I think that's... Uh... You're hit square in the chest by a draw. <laughs> I think that's definitely a shaken. What uh, is your um, toughness? Uh, hold on. Um, toughness is a five plus armor is a six. Okay, yeah. So that that armor just saved you, basically. Yeah. Just yeah. shaken. Yeah. You're okay. winded by it. Yeah. <laughs> I think anyone would be if they had if a desk was shot at them. Uh. Um. Do, 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 do. Now it's your turn. Oh, by the way, also the desk, like, it shot the drawer and then, like, started backing off it back into the study. Like, it goes... <laughs> it, like, goes around the corner so the all-in can't see it after seeing what happened to the chairs. Okay, I'm going to do a wild attack on this footlocker. <laughs> so, roll D8 plus 2. Yep. There's Vault. Oh, uh, oh, I, uh... He's just, he's, he's Benny to get out shaken. I didn't know. No, I, no, d roll, roll spirit first. Oh. Spirit, okay. Roll, always roll spirit first, because even if it fails, then you can just spend a Benny afterwards to recover okay. if you want to. And even then, you can still, like, move and get away, and you're fine. You got a four, so you can act. Alright, okay, I'll make this roll. Wild attack. Four. So there's no benefit to getting a raise now on the yeah. spirit roll? No, there isn't. That's been kind of a point of contention, the update. I like it myself, but I can kind of... It makes a lot of things kind of a lot more useless. Oh, yeah. so uh, like you get a plus one from me on your spirit. Yeah, that just hasn't mattered yet. It will help some point. But anyway, uh, Tam, remember it, weapon damage for me... You've played a ranger, actually, so this makes sense, but... Melee damage is strength plus the weapon damage. It's a lot easier uh, if you just roll damage off your character sheet. You've really got to get used uh, to that, man. It's like... Uh, so convenient. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I just pulled some habit. Uh, did you want me to roll again? Yeah, or, or, or just roll the d6 without the plus 2, because that, you know, really put okay. the plus 2 on there. For now, just roll the uh, d6 and see what happens. So, yeah. in total, 6 damage. Does that put a foot locker in Shaken? <laughs> what is the top? Oh, uh, yeah, that foot locker is Shaken. So, I'll say what the narrative description of it is. You like it's going to bite you again. You strike down on it, and the top of the t and the top of it clamps down, and the lock gets trapped, so it can't bite anymore, and it's just trying to cat get itself free. You okay. smack the latch. As I always do. Right, Zakart. Alright, so let's see here. We've got... Let's see, is that chair within my range? Yeah. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go smash the chair. So five hits the chair? Um, five hits the chair. Crush that chair. That chair is not crushed. It is shaken, though. <laughs> <laughs> Make now, sure you add uh, Swede to the thing. Yeah, I will. But yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, it's the chair's turn for now, and the chair is gonna roll spirit to recover. And being a ghost, gets a plus two. It's a very spirited chair. Yeah. This chair don't give up. The chair recovers and immediately goes to kick you. Fuck off, chair. This whole time, the furniture is. Uh, have been singing uh, Be Our Guest. What is oh, your... no. <laughs> What's your parry again? Six. Okay, yeah, you're fine. It just, like, dives at you and misses. But I'm gonna... When do... Huh? When does the candlestick with the French-made broom come, come out? Oh, we didn't have enough spirit vials for that. Oh, okay. If you, smashed a... if you go downstairs and smash a few more, we can get some more furniture in here. Because I want to go full Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Alright, let's get... Let's get... 
balling in here. Are you bringing Kodo along to this rumble? Yeah, sure. Actually, no. Kodo is like, fuck this shit. <laughs> He's just hiding in the downstairs. <laughs> As illustrated by his talking, just going down there. Hey guys, why are you fighting chairs? You'll find out in a moment. Don't question it, just beat it. There, I have three more vials you wanted. Just open them. Okay. They should, they should already fill up. Only my on my turn though. Right, yeah. So, Solaire Oswald. Right, I am going to go straight for another against the Footlocker. Let's do this. I think he finally suction cupped his way to the top of the building. Yep. Roll it. Good fucking god. Good god. Good so, god! Wow. Okay. He fucking beats that furniture to the ground. So, you get a 2d6 plus d8. Or you could just click uh, raise on the damage and then roll it. Mm. Or do it that way. Right, so... Jesus. It's a dead chair, isn't it? Six plus five plus three. Yeah, that's a dead chair. No, it's a dead footlocker, rather. <laughs> so, yeah, you just crash, smash the footlocker in two. Its contents, which is mostly just kind of odds and ends shoes and such, just kind of falls to the floor. A lot of papers, uh -huh. too. Excellent. The desk, meanwhile, has retreated. Like, it seems to have taken cover. It's a tactical retreat. I mean, it's a desk. It's one of the smarter objects in the room. It's, it's a desk. Oh, no. It it's is the smart... Like it's the leader. It's it, the leader of the bunch. It pops out around the corner and fires one of its other drawers at Orlin. Oh, no. This is just ridiculous. Nope. It like you hear it like sl this uh, draws slide forward like it's gonna shoot out, but then the ball bearings catch. And it just kind of like I hate when that happens. Can't even just get out. So it's just kind of fumbling trying to fire this draw. <laughs> the oak table starts levitating. It floats to the top of the room and stays there. See, I told you there were ghosts. No, no, that is not a ghost. But it's, it's just... levitating. No, it's animated. It's levitating, though. No, chair. It's, it's not. As you're oh, arguing yeah. this, the chair jumps up and kicks at Zakat. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> I bat the chair away. All in. Alright. I'm gonna do a triple frost bolt, hitting all three of them. Okay. Now you're gonna have a penalty against the desk since it took cover. Okay. So that's like a minus two because it's pretty decent cover. So. I'll just do this one at a time. So, first that? one. Uh, huh? Uh, that's what? the first first frostbolt. Is that actually? Do you do one spell casting and then you just do damage for the three ones that are shooting, or what? I think you split them up and like roll individually for each. If you're trying to hit different targets, especially if like one of them has a minus two penalty. Okay, then yeah, that that'll be towards I don't know the chair. I guess I'll just go like top to bottom the chair. Okay, so that one's hit with a race. 
what's the second one for before you roll it? Oh, the I'm just gonna go ahead and do the damage. I'll so, do one at a time. It's a dead chair. Alright, and this one's for the desk. Or the, for the crate, or whatever that is. Foot Locker. Oh no, Foot Locker's dead. Oh, wait, wait he's talking about, he's talking about this then one. I'm just doing two. Yeah, I'm talking about that. Oh, that's the table. That's now ah, floating, okay, to the table, the, then. floating to the ceiling. So, that took off one... Uh, spell power requirement. Here's the second cast. Got that six. Hits, not with a raise though. Okay, so that costs one power point. That a nine. Damage. Eleven. Shakers. Six, one, six, zero. That's that? Hmm. <laughs> heavy table. Heavy table, heavy table. That, um, Shaken's a heavy table. So the heavy table is now just... <laughs> okay, and this one is against the desk. And that misses. I'm gonna need like... that. Okay. I remember this one is at a minus two for its cover. Uh, I got a, got a four. Uh, Three. Yeah, it's like, you fire a shot, it ends up just smashing a window. Alright, so I lost two power points then. Okay. And Z I, I, I moved further back. Now, Zakar, you've been denying it this whole time, but make me a spirit check for a fear test. Oh, it's your <laughs> yep. ghosts. fucking ghosts. You start, you for a moment, you crack and consider, maybe it, maybe it could be ghosts. And it is fucking You're... hovering. Spear is at a minus one, so it's six. So you're fine. You shake the four off. Like, oh, no, it's just it's very animated. It's extraordinarily animated. <laughs> like you know, it's wizards so cool. can fly. Maybe that's a wizard table. Yeah, exactly. It's a magic table. That's why it's animated. Uh, let's see. So what is a wild attack exactly? You get a plus two to the attack. To the attack roll and to the damage roll, but you have minus two parry until your next action. You scroll all the way down to the bottom of your sheet. Oh, you know, if you have all on, it's right there. Yeah, I see it. Alright, um, you know what? I'm gonna go wild attack the floating one. And it's shaken too. So let's see here. That is fighting plus two. Nine. Nine. Does that fact did that factor into the roll? Yeah. Okay, so it's a nine. That hits it with a raise. Uh, flail with a raise, uh, plus two to the damage too, right? Mm-hmm. Seventeen. That's a dead God. table. So describe <laughs> all these damage rolls. Uh, I just two hand it, jump up in the air, and like. I do like an uppercut with the flail head. Nice. Chair. Basically, show you can hit. The table Holy splits cow. in sunder, and it's heavy. It just like crashes to the ground. Alter Gallon. Yeah, that's me. Open the vials. Open the vial, he says. I I shall open all three of these vials. All three of the vials are opened, and all three of them quickly become cloudier and look more animated. What's happening? Close yeah. the vials! I'll close the vials! They don't look much diff- they don't, like, um... feel much different, like, from before, but they do look different. Uh, what happened? You trapped the, the souls of the ghosts. Ghost. The animation. There's no ghosts. Damn it. But there's a ghost. How do you explain that? Okay, now it's shoot animated. the thing if you saw an action. Okay, I've got to shoot the thing I saw in action. What are you talking about? Okay. 
But uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna yeah that the the, the te desk. I don't like it. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna take out my dagger and uh, it's, it's fucking stab the table. He's gonna shank at the table. Yeah, fuck go yeah, fuck yeah. Go for it. Okay. It is if I remember. Wait, yeah, fighting. I will. Oh yeah, fighting skills, skills, skills. Where are you fighting? There we go. You miss. Oh! You no. run into the room after the desk, and it starts like running away. Come back here! <laughs> Chasing it with a dagger. <laughs> Come back here! Don't make me take out my other one. Okay. This is the last of that turn. Come on, Joker. Now. Oh god, there's <laughs> more of them. You hadn't suspected the bookshelf. Uh, book! That, that's a bookshelf. That, that's a bookshelf? Kind of. Now I, I gotta make do with what I have, okay? Table with laundry us, on it. We're screwed. So the desk, like, is running oh, across God. the room and it stops in front of the bookshelf, spins around and fires a uh, altar gallon. Oh no! See what a desk can do. This is at a plus two. I can just uh, for Joker. Seven. Oh, what? Uh, seven. My parry, my parry, my parry. No, uh, he's. This is a throwing attack, so I only had to beat four. Oh, okay. How much? Um, what's your toughness? My rolled fighting though. Shit. I don't know if it's the same yeah. roll. It is the same roll actually. It's a d6. Oh no, my toughness is five. You're shaken. You are hit in the shoulder by a fired. By a fired draw. Ow! Oh, ow! Oh, Jesus, what is happening? And the bookshelf, and it led you in front of the bookshelf. Ah! Oh no! Books! In a kind of shotgun style blast, every book flies off of it at once. Oh god. Ah! Literature! This is accounted as a shotgun attack. Didn't hit with a raise. Oh boy. Am I gonna die from books? The toughness is five, oh. so you just got one wound. Ow! Ow! Help me! Damn. So now the, the room is covered in books and splinters. I'll get you, book! It was many books. You got booked. I'll fucking get you, book. Oh my gosh, the fucking bookshelf. Alright, I gotta smash this desk before it shoots any more things at us. Uh, let's see, that's just a regular attack, so no skill mod. Oh, fuck. You do hit it, but not with any leverage. It's a desk, it's just kind of flat. Alter Gallon, you've got yeah. a few paper cuts. Okay. Uh, what was it to roll out of chicken? Spirit, uh, it's minus one for your wound, but plus one because you're, because you're near Zakart, so. <laughs> but you managed to pull through. You've read books in the past, they haven't hurt that much. I shall feed you, bookshelf! Uh, let me just check something. Fantastic, I have ambidextrous. I am gonna use my two, my two daggers to attack this thing. So you get... Okay. Yeah, no, I have ambidex I am ambidextrous, so yeah. But you still have multi-action penalty, don't you? If you're trying to attack both. Uh, let's see now. 
Okay, you hear this uh, death foot to the... Normally suffers a minus two penalty when performing physical test with offhand. With this edge, um... Yeah, I just ignore using using the offhand. Okay, so you still have multi-action penalty until you get... Because there is another edge to deal with, like, fighting yeah. two hands. But So it's just a minus two to both attacks. Yeah. What are you stabbing at? The bookshelf. Okay, you're giving it both knives then. So just roll fighting? Yeah. For each of them. Mm-hmm. So that's... Neither of those hit. Fuck it. No, I'm using a be I'm using a Benny. Wait, what did I free? I thought I used one earlier. I gave you an extra one for oh, something oh, you did. Okay, I'm using a Benny for one of those. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Misses? Not misses exactly, it's a bookshelf and you're standing right in front of it. Okay. Basically, like... You're just stabbing it, but not, like, getting any deep cuts. It's a very well-made bookshelf. Turns out a dagger's not a very good weapon for killing a bookshelf. As, it lo as you'd learn. By god, this is like the turkey bear. So, the, right. the hallway is now clear. Everything that remains is in the room. So, if I empower my frost bolt, what does it do again? Does 3d6 it damage. I can spend two power points and on it's... one, then yeah. And forty-six if I do. If you hit with a raise, yeah. Points. No, no, three. No, I mean if I. I don't know if you. I can spend works... up to three. Yeah, I I have one to six. I can spend up to three, shooting more frost bolts, and up to three enhancing the frost bolt. Really? Yeah, one one for the base cost, and then two and three for enhancing it. Go ahead then. But I, on my character sheet, I can't change the like how many die. It's still stuck at two. Roll it. So, um, think. Roll it like old fashioned then. Yeah. Uh. So I'm gonna do a um. In, like super empowered frost bowl against the bookshelf. And that hits with a raise. Oh thank God. So that's 5d6? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> okay, roll this old-fashioned, but remember, these aren't exploding, so just 5d6 without the exclamation. <laughs> this could be fucking gorgeous. Nah, look... not that great. Oh, let me look at what a bookshelf has. Let me find out. Oh my, okay. Hmm. It costs two power points because they got a raise. Right. Wizard is a very useful edge. Yeah. So like uh, Oswald. <laughs> so I just got a wound? Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so I am going to go wild attack the, um, the, uh, large desk. Go for it. Let's do this. Alright, so that's a D8 plus 2. Nice. Okay, good. And that's with a raise is... as well. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, tick the raise okay. thing. Yep. 14. Nice. So that was at the desk. Yep. Let's, let us see if that is a dead desk. That is a dead desk. It is split yes. asunder. Nice. Get out of the way. I'm a big fan of the word asunder lately. It's a cool it's a word. Hmm. Okay, let's shuffle the deck for a joker and deal out. Oh hey. my yeah. good Okay, gods. go, go, go. Right, uh, can I oh. do enough for wild? Yes, you may. That poor Thanks. bookshelf. Alright, um, I forgot to load anything, so, uh, need to go back, back into fighting, sorry about this, um, be like, I see too long. So, uh, wild attack plus a joker. This is a four. Is, okay, so d8 plus four. Yes. 
Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to Betty that. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fair. Okay. Alright. Yeah, oh, there, yeah, there we go. So, okay, that's well, uh, again, raise damage plus four. On the bookshelf. Okay. Right. Fourteen. So, it's a... T yeah. Holy should Christ. be two wounds. So, it should be dead, right? Uh, no, because it's the fourth wound that kills it. Oh, right. It's not a, uh... Yeah. It's three wounds and then you're out. Excellent. It's not an extra. It's a boss... Boss uh, bookshelf. Yep. A well, little knowledge is dangerous, you know? I mean, he did give it a shotgun. <laughs> Alter Gallon. Yeah. Now there's two of you hitting this bookshelf, and it just got iced. You know, Daggers isn't clearly gonna work out, so I'm just gonna go hand to hand. I told it to chill out. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, just punch the bookshelf. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I told it reading is really cool. God damn it. Uh, how do you, What was the damage for unhanded? Stay frosty. It's just your strength. Which, by the way, you hit it, so... Yeah! Oh, shit! No. Oh. I mean, yeah, it's, well... it's, it's damage, so it doesn't have your wild. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, such it's a just, shame. So... Yeah, I know. But no, you just punch it. Roll vigor. <laughs> oh, no. Ah! You oh, break God. your hand. <laughs> uh, no, oh, wow. I'm, I'm bennying that. <laughs> you no, you can't. You can't you benny can't. out of a critical yeah. failure. Oh, God. That... Fine, I'll take back my benny. <laughs> yeah, you and you break your hand punching a <laughs> bookshelf. Okay, I hit it with my left hand. You probably oh, kill it though. Fine. No. Do you see his damage roll? Oh. He just broke his hand on a bookshelf. Oh, oh, oh my hand! Oh my god. How am I ever gonna shoot a bow again? You'll have to figure that one out. Oh god. But yeah, you're in a lot of pain. Ah! I should have kicked it! <laughs> you would have broken your foot then. It. No, it is. he assumed it would have gone better. Ah, oh. uh, uh, I'm tapping out, tapping out. I'm just gonna wild attack to finish this thing off. So let's see, here, that's plus two. That connects. Does hit. Cool. It's not a raise, but that connects. Flail, flail, plus another two, that's a six. I just, I just oh. threw my Benny out. So I've got... Hey, nice. And, uh, nice. That is a dead, that's a dead bookshelf. Yes. Describe how you destroy the bookshelf. Uh, so let's see here. I just bring the flail down and crush through all the shelves. Yeah. So, you do that. The remaining books that weren't fired in the initial volley, they just tumble to the floor. There's a silence cast over the room. And then you turn and look at the door, and you see Andreas there standing with an old man. By the way, uh, these are my employees. Hello! No, nice to, oh. nice to meet you. My... oh! Uh, I, I, I immediately start tending to his vest. <laughs> I see. The, bur the burning. You notice the man is panting heavily as if he just ran up the stairs. There was a little the... bit of an incident with some uh, ghost vials. The burning, the uh, pain, oh, ghost. the suffering. I see. I see everything is going well at my daughter's shop Stay. out in the country. Suffering. It's going quite well. As I'm like looking at his fist, <laughs> yeah, we made several sales today. Uh, that's good. That's that's good. Why is there blood outside the shop? Oh, oh I shot that man one an hour before. He he was trying to shoplift. He was fleeing uh, with some goods. I see. I see. I see. 
I see. Sorry about all the frost, by the way. No, 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 that's the least of my worries right now. So, so you're, you're all in. The brown. Yes. Do you work here? He says kind of a loss for words. Actually, I'm a patron. Oh, that's, that's amazing. My, all in the brown shops at my daughter's shop. Yes, uh, your daughter sells the best bat wings this side of uh, Holden Clearing. And, and this this uh, small district of Holden Clearing, that is. That's quite an honor to hear it's, it from you. Really, it's just the best bat wings in this shop. In Holden Clearing. <laughs> oh, let's see. Does a healing roll do anything? Um, make one, and you got you've got that you've got to account for his wound. So this is at a minus one. Okay. Oh my hand. Minus one. Oh, oh three. Oh it's... no, four. I'm also bleeding a bit from my forehead. I have a wound as well. Can I just go around patching everyone up? Yes, you may. <laughs> um, let's just say, like, what follows while you're tending is a very, very awkward hour or two of conversation with the father. Um, Andrea treats everyone to, like, a meal in the back of the shop in a little kind of dining area. Could have used the study, but it's a bit cluttered. I... I eat at the food with my one of my visible mouths. <laughs> what? Oh! Uh, you're, just, you're prodding with a lot of questions about the wizard world. Soleil gets a lot of questions about his religion. The dad is very, very, very confused. Uh, um, Orland's pretty open about it. Yeah. The suffering. As for that roll. Rolls are just one. Uh, make another healing roll for all in. Minus one? It's minus yeah. one for his wound, yeah. No, it's a no. He's gonna make it pain. worse. So, no, nah, it doesn't make it worse on a 2 2. It just means nothing is done. Mm. Like, you tend to the wound. Like, let's just say you stop the bleeding, but you don't, like, make it. You're not gonna, like, fix it up so it will heal any cleaner or anything. As for. As for. Um. As for Alter, you've ascertained it's a broken hand, and that's going to take a bit. Oh no! I tell how, as such. how long will it take, Doctor? Uh, I don't know. It'll take a while. Look, just you might have to amputate. Actually, you know what? <laughs> we might have to amputate. Doctor, there's no need to daggers. amputate. This is no, and I point to a spot and say, no, no. See, this is frostbite with a little bit of gangrene. If we don't I take broke it off, my right, hand. Yeah, you did. Why did, did you even punch it? Um, well, I assumed it would work. <sighs> Don't you judge me. I I take like scraps of cloth and maybe like a sh like oh I take one of the broken shelves and create like a small splint for him. <laughs> it's like, not one, not know, I guess. You'll always have it around. Keep this as a memory to not punch bookshelves. You're too kind, Doctor. I'll say that'll be healed by the next session or two. But I'm kind of tempted to make you play a whole session with a broken hand. <laughs> well, it's did do a pretty gonna, stupid uh, move. It's yeah. not going to be super exciting. Well, th then we'll, will it? You're just going to have to learn to well, fire a bow and arrow. Actually, that would be very exciting. You can use your teeth to hold the bow and knock the arrow with the one free arm. Doctor, I think he's insane. Or just have uh, the the ferret hold the bow. <laughs> or no, pull the ferret the arrow. The arrow. You know, if you wear like a cast that's big enough, you could just stock him in there and have him act as your free hand. Or or use him as the arrow. Kodo is not the proving of this. He in fact runs away. By the way, I've been the dad this whole time in this whole scene. Speaking loudly. But no, like, basically, the night passes. You are each offered, like, as he leaves, Andrea just says, yeah, that was a... 
I think that worked. I think he's not going to tell, force me back to the capital. I think you've all done a very, very stellar job here today. I'm sorry about your hand. Thank you. Actually, no, I'm not sorry about your hand. That was your own fault. Um, it really was. I am sorry about everything else, though. I, I, I don't know why there were ghosts in those. There weren't. It was just animation spell. They just needed to cool off. I'm docking your pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting paid. That's fair. Good. I mean, I I, I'm not actually we're working for paid. you. I'm just a patron, but thanks for the pay anyway, I guess. Yeah, you helped me out today, so that's good enough for me. So, it makes an offer. You can either take the day's wages, which is 80 gold for the day, or um, you can take... I'll let you, a potion, I'll let you have a potion uh, on the house. I'll take hmm. the pet money. What uh, potions are available? I'll copy and I'll copy and paste from the list. I'll take the money, thank you. So you take the money, so that's eighty gold. Yeah, oh, gold. money. Are any of them worth more than eighty gold? You have to be clever about it, don't you? <laughs> like, you can just take the 80 gold and buy one of them. I'm just gonna say this, they're all worth more than 80 gold, but you'd be hard- you'd be hard bought to find someone to buy them I around here, not said, in the shop. I should've just said I take 80 gold. Okay, I'm gonna buy the potion of armor. Uh, <laughs> um, how much it- what's the armor? What's the- what, what is it? Armor gives you plus two, like, temporary armor. So it's like an armor spell? Yeah, they, oh, they're basically see, the potions yeah, are just that. kind of spells, in a way. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I'll just take the money then, so I'll add that on. Okay. 80 gold. The animate object is one not from the rulebook, but it just basically animates some furniture for a few rounds, or animates, like, whatever you throw it at for a few rounds to act with you. I'll just take the gold, but I'll take note of this place, maybe come back. Yeah, so I just put that on the... So now this place has two notes, well, several note locations. Now just throw in Ren's potions and tinctures. Yay. Do we get XP? You do, 2 XP. Which should put you at 6, each of you. Yeah, we're at 6. Yeah. And that's an advance. Nice. Yeah. God, I don't know what to do with it. One. So I can get like freaking Persuasion now. I forget, is Persuasion a spirit thing? It is, I believe. But I don't uh, think it's smart. There oh, are well, I'll so deal with many that later. things I want to use this on. I don't know what to choose from. So I will stop recording now. Oh, actually, before we do end off, yes. Um, this is cut to a bit. I'm just, I'm just gonna railroad you a bit to the pub, but this is a com in completely okay. inconsequential thing. But as you're just like sitting around at the end of the day, um, a knight walks into the bar and just walks up to the table you're at and just throws each of you some more money. And just basically says this is from Frederick for bringing it for bringing in some fresh meat. Thanks. And in there That's is nice. a further one hundred gold for last session for each of you. So one hundred each, not like twenty five each. Yes, Thanks. money. I'm at two eighty two now.